an incredible evening. I'm Carolee Baird, the administrator with the VISTA's Assisted Living and Memory Care Community. I'd like to take an op this opportunity to express my gratitude for Taylor Motors and the Taylor family. Their generous financial contributions brought all of you here and helped the contestants know to come and audition with us. I'd also like to thank Lonnie Julius, our community relations coordinator. She coordinated this entire event. I get up and I tell you about the vistas. I tell you about our beautiful building and the services that we provide. This year though, I read all the testimonials of our residents, our family members, and our staff, and I realized that the vistas isn't the bricks and mortar at all. We are the vistas. It's the culture. A big family of loving, caring, unique individuals that have all came together living out our mission creating environments where moments of joy, independence, and wellness are the focus each and every day. I'd like to introduce to you the Vistas. Good evening. My name is Steve Fisher, and this is my wife, Nancy, and with Lynn and Gail here, we're to say a few words about our hosts. Taylor Motors. I love them. <laughs> my, my mom lives there. Your mother lives at Taylor Motors? They are really good people. Do them a favor, please drop by this weekend if you're not, if you're just out running around and see the new 2011s that are out. They have good prices, they're great people. They've done so much for us tonight and my son-in-law works there, he's a mechanic, so he'd be able to help you out with your car. <laughs> are you done? Maybe. About a year and a half ago, my dad died, and mom broke her hip at the same time. And that's when I realized we needed some help. When we found the vistas, we found the answers that we were looking for. It's kind of like a cruise ship out there on, Hall on Hartnell Avenue, and uh, she has an apartment of her own. She's got all her own furniture in there. They have activities every day. They have excursions. The meals are great. I've seen the menu there. I've eaten there. It's fantastic. It's a lot like a cruise ship. And 24-7, uh, there's somebody there to help her. And I know that she's getting her medicines when she should get them. And somebody's there to help her if she has a question. They even have a hairdresser that comes in. And every Tuesday morning, she has her hair done. And it's just a really comfortable place. And it's the people there that make that happen. Uh, it, they truly do care for your relatives, my relative, my mom. They care for her, and more than that, I really think they care about her. It's, it's a very caring, kind place. Swell people, the only thing is none of them has convinced her to learn to shoot pool and that brand new table in there. I love the vistas, especially Lonnie. <laughs> Say good night, Nancy. Good night, Nancy. Good evening. I'm Elaine Flores, and I'm with Medical Home Care Professionals. And I want to say how honored and proud we are to be an extended family to the VISTAs team. We provide services to their residents that help with their medical needs. And I have a few nurses here and nurses from other agencies. And I can tell you that our team feels like family every time we walk into the Vistas. They treat their residents with dignity, respect, and honor. And we're just very fortunate to be one of the providers that provides care to these wonderful people. And Julie wants to move in soon, so. Hi, I'm Jim McCarty, and I was invited to express my feelings of how it, it feels to be one of the volunteers that comes in. We're all volunteers, and I'm sure that if you ask any one of them, they'll all tell you the same thing. It's great. <laughs> and it's, it's really special for me because I, 
I do shows for them. I take my equipment in and I, and I sing. And it's just a wonderful place. The, the, the staff and the, and the uh, management treat everybody like they're real people. Not like they're just somebody that is there to stay and pay money. And I had my first experience with the Vista in 2009 when I auditioned for the first Reading Senior Idol and was one of the finalists. And just later after that, in August, they called me up and asked me if I would do a show. And I said, yes, of course. And let me tell you something that was the most exciting thing in my life. I've sung all my life. But to sing for these folks, these wonderful senior people, to see them laugh, see them smile, see them get up and dance, see sometimes a few tears in their eyes when you sing something that brings back one of their favorite memories. And I thank Darlie and Cinnamon and the Vista for giving me the opportunity to be able to come back into that facility, that wonderful facility. It's, it's like a luxury hotel, believe me. There's so many rooms and so many different places where they can give parties and have things and give shows. The other night I was doing a, a show there and the sheriff, Jim Pope, was doing one down in another room. I just want to thank them for the chance of fulfilling the last of my lifelong dream to sing for the senior homes. Good evening, I'm Patty Plum, and I'm the coordinator for Memory Care at the Vistas. We share an incredible honor to celebrate the lives of our greatest generation. All of you as seniors, we're so honored to serve you and love you in the facility of the Vistas. You have no idea how you've impacted our lives. And we're just so grateful for all you've done to um, build our country and maintain our freedom that we can now enjoy. And I'm so grateful to be a part of this staff. This staff has captured my heart. I will never be the same because of the time I'm spending now investing in the lives of elders. About three years ago, when the Vistas first opened, my dad was one of the first residents in memory care. We were at a time where we didn't know what we needed to do to honor him and preserve his dignity. And the Vista staff came alongside of us and escorted us through this season of knowing how to love and experience moments of joy with him that we will never forget. And on May 26, 2008, he graduated, and his home going was um, impactful. But because of our moments there at the Vistas, we are so grateful for those memories. So we are just thrilled to partner with families to honor and serve the elders, creating an environment where moments of joy, independence, and wellness are the focus each and every day. I have been at the Vistas for about a year now, enjoying every minute of it. Everybody is so kind, wonderful, and there's just not, no, not any way I can thank them all. They're, they're all special people.
And I want to be 